Okay. Hey. Ah! Today is kind of an awkward day. Happy Saturday. Um, Jordan and Noah have already left the house. Actually, they left without me. Um, Jordan has a doctor's appointment and he took Noah with him because I am off to pick up um, Mayo and bring him to the to like a doggy resort. Um, my parents left for the States this morning and as you all know, with our house being all carpeted and with a newborn, um, I can't take uh, Mayo with me. So we're actually taking him to a doggy resort here in town so that um, I'm able to drive over whenever I want to to see if he's good. So yeah, so I'm on my way there. I'm looking like crust up top but I'm wearing what I need to wear underneath I just um, don't want to smell like mayo you know when when I'm doing the or when I'm going about the rest of my day so that is where I'm headed right now as far as Jordan he's off to the doctors because um, he's been sick for a long time now um, I'm gonna say even before Noah was born he has been getting sick a lot and we don't really know why like yeah um, where he works he's more prone to um, you know getting sick just because of the environment but I mean it's crazy um, just how, how much he gets um, you know gets these viruses or um, bacterias um, so often so anyways, that's where he's going. I squeeze. I was able to squeeze him an appointment uh, with our family doctor today. So that's where him and Noah are. And yeah, and then we're off to his parents' house. And then after that, who knows? So we'll take you along with us. Hopefully this battery um, lasts. <laughs> Yikes. If it doesn't, I'll be in big trouble. Anyways, peace. Guys, so I just dropped off my little bugger um, to the pet resort. That's kind of what it looks like. There's like a nice house at the beginning and then everything else is basically like, I don't know, I guess. See, there's a house here, but then everything else is like back there. I don't know if you guys can see. Wow. Anyways, I'm going to make you guys sick. Um, it's like a doggy place and they actually have like trainers and everything and they're here 24-7, that's what it's called. Kule. Um, I pray for his safety. Um, I hope he'll be okay there. Um, I don't want to visit him too much only because it might confuse him thinking that I'm taking him home. I did ask if I could just drop by and just take a look, take a peek to see how he is doing, but um, they're saying that they don't really suggest it, which kind of makes me sad. Um, but he is only there for four days. And yeah, I feel kind of bad. Anyways, I'm headed back to my parents' house to get my car so that um, I can start with my day with uh, Jordan and Noah. So, yeah. So, this is like out, like... middle of nowhere. Basically, the pet resort is back there. It's a huge, huge lot. Um, I did add something extra to um, Mayo's package and that's a playtime. So basically, he gets let out into the yard and he gets to play with other dogs as opposed to just going out in his own little cage backyard. So, yeah. So that's what I'm going for. That's what I added on to the plan as opposed to like blocks. All the food and stuff I Hopefully there's um, no follow instructions, but I don't know, kind of apprehensive. It's like, you never know with these types of things, right?
here. So it is 6.47 Sunday morning. I'm exhausted, uh, but I'm gonna try mountain biking, like real mountain biking for the first time. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So I, I kind of researched a little bit of things, you know, what to prepare, what not to prepare. And the mountain bike we have is Vernon's old mountain bike. So if I make it through the whole trail, I'd be really surprised. Um, but yeah, I got a, a knife because I'm heading pretty deep into the woods. I always bring it with me, um, like a little three inch blade, hidden blade, just in case, you never know. There's tons of coyotes around here. And also uh, got my helmet strapped with my GoPro. Got my uh, chesty accessory uh, for my GoPro. Um, oh Jesus, hard to drive with one hand. Yeah, I got my uh, chesty accessory with my GoPro. Um, hopefully get some decent footage so I can show her and uh, kind of what she's missing out on. And uh, what else did I bring? Bug spray, because last time I went on a hike, man like 60 bug bites it's crazy and uh i think what else did i bring i brought the bike obviously by myself uh the helmet obviously very important tons of water oh and i brought a towel because i figured i'm going to be pretty dirty after and i don't want to get earning seats pretty dirty so um i figured i'll use the towel to wrap, wrap my phone up because i might need the gps so i'll take the phone with me um because last time on the hike i actually needed the gps to get out of there because Basically, the map sucks so bad that they have an intersection with a pillar in the middle and it doesn't even tell you which way is which, so you kind of have to guess, and I'm pretty bad with directions, so... Yeah, well, uh, I'll show you guys where I'm going. It's not too far from our place. It's maybe a 15-minute drive. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like, and then maybe I'll uh, put some GoPro footage in. Hey guys, that's pretty much where I'm going to be uh, mountain biking. There, it's the Scarpman, Niagara Scarpman. Uh, really nice. Very beautiful for hikes, but bug filled like crazy. Okay. Halfway there. Back home. It was closed. But I think they open at 8.30, so we'll give it a shot then. Round two, guys. Round two. Let's see if I make it. There it is. Hilton Falls Conservation Area. Let me show you guys. Look, there's nobody behind me. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing it. Deep in there. Hopefully I get out alive. Guys, so I made it. Got the bike out. Gonna hit it up. See how it goes.
Daddy had the camera, because he's going on an adventure, but now we're all going on an adventure. Okay, Mom and Dad are going to eat, and I'm just going to watch them and maybe fall asleep. I don't know. Oh, my dear toy. His name is Mr. Leon. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, my daddy came back from this adventure. He got. He says that Bear Girls has nothing on him. Yeah, I believe it. I saw some footage. They look kind of scary. I'm surprised there's no poison ivy on my daddy or any ticks. But my mom left the house at like 12 o'clock last night to buy him some DEET. I mean, off. With DEET. Yeah, so he should be good. Um. Excuse me, camera lady. Oh, sorry. Um. So, yeah. So, there's not really much plan today. I think we're just gonna have a relaxing weekend. Well deserved for me, daddy. for the dog, for mail, but they weren't answering, so I don't know what's wrong, what's happening with my doggy. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later, bye! Vegeta time! <laughs> I'm missing a party, as usual. <laughs> Can I offer you some pumpkins? <laughs> Demolished. But she took away our sizzling plate. Just kidding. Um, Jordan is. <laughs> and Noah is. <laughs> Still missing the party. I got my gloves on. I'm ready to go. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Hey guys. <laughs> so yesterday during hey, it's not focused. Yeah. During one of our shopping adventures, we actually got this at Winners. It was fifty bucks. Um, originally, we bought this for a different space, for this space, <laughs> for that space up there. Um, Jordan was gonna take his um, diplomas down and put it on the other wall, but then he showed me this area and I was like oh I kind of want it there <laughs> so we're gonna put it we're gonna try another you know picture above the TV you don't want that atlas thing yeah but that's <laughs> at Target base so we're gonna have to go the to this Target place. it is okay so yeah so we got this it's really cool it kind of matches like I don't know doesn't it it matches, it matches like you know our theme here Especially this guy it matches him. Oh hello! Oh hello! Oh hello! There you go. Oh jeez. Oh, and? In the middle. <laughs> what did you mean by that? It's a TV base. Remember, the TV is always a little off. I mean, it's it literally could drop. Half a, half a centimeter. Oh, then forget it. Oh, it's a TV. Does it look unleveled? No. The TV looks unleveled. <laughs> I think it looks nice. What do you think? I love it. I love it there. Because it ends. Um, he may have vlogged a little bit of it, but when he came home from his um, extreme mountain biking, uh, basically I was a little bit surprised, and when I look out the window, he was like, and I didn't really know. At first I thought, oh, did he break the bike? Whatever, I don't care. It's my bike. Um, it wasn't, like, too hella expensive. But it was, ex like, you know, I mean, it was, like, $200 or something like that. <coughs> but if he broke it, whatever, as long as he had fun. But his face just said it all. It was, I, I knew from the, like, as soon as he got out of the car that something went bad. And basically he came home really, really dirty. <laughs> like his legs were dirty, his shirt was soaked, and he, his face, you could just tell, like, don't ask me questions right now. <laughs> but, um, of course, Jordan didn't have breakfast, and he was out there for, like, two hours. So, to make a long story short, he never found the trail. 
And he basically walked the whole time to get out of the forest. And yeah, so. So basically, what happened was I did zero mountain biking. <laughs> like, I probably rode the bike for 15 seconds. So the original plan was I was gonna. This is where I parked, where I showed you guys. I was gonna quickly bike up this little trail here, see the falls, and then take this little blue what? here. And then basically hit this mountain bike trail and then go back. Um, I don't think I ever actually hit this trail because, oh man, I went down this blue, ended up getting lost. I went somewhere here and I'm like, there's no trails. Like, I mean, I was going through trees and everything. Ended up cutting through here. Didn't notice I was on the trail. I had to go through these little things and these things are the, the cliffs. And yes, I literally threw the bike over the cliffs and jumped after and then went through all of this like I'm talking like bushes up to my face like the GoPro on my helmet was getting hit and like I don't know to anybody that's done like Tough Mudder man it's like a hundred times worse so basically Jordan said this is number two or Tough Mudder has just been downgraded to number yeah. two of the hardest things he's done physically in his life <laughs> the thing like i think like i could have made it through the forest a lot easier but the problem is i had the bike with me and the bike always got caught on something and it was just driving me fucking mental that i couldn't you know move it across the trees and stuff i told him just you should have just left the bike behind like we could have gone after it like later but and i gopro the whole thing and I showed Ernan a little bit of the Sorry, footage. I have to put his glove on. And I showed a little bit of the footage. Actually talking to myself, like trying to, you know, encourage myself to keep going, keep going. Because I was like, I'm, I was steps away from just calling the, the area, being like, I'm fully lost in this place. And I don't know, you guys have to come get me. And the worst part is, once I hit this trail here, so I finally made it through here, and I hit this place here, I lost my phone right at the end because i was using my phone to kind of give me like a satellite view of where i am and i was like fuck man i don't have my glasses i'm exhausted and everything and my phone's somewhere in the bushes so i'm walking around i'm looking for my phone and i see people walking so i was like oh maybe they'll call i asked them to call like they probably thought i was this crazy guy coming out of the bushes who probably lived there so they just ran away <laughs> and i was like Dude, give me a break, man. He was dirty. <laughs> I was dirty. Like, I was disgusting. Well, you guys, you guys should see my legs. Because I was just cutting through the bushes and everything. Like, look at all this stuff. All these cuts and everything. Look at this. There's some on the back, like on the side there. Yeah, it's, it's pretty ugly. Like, I mean, man, toughest thing in my life. I legit wanted to cry. That's how hard it was. <laughs> I was just like, I want to go home and see my wife and kid. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to do this. You know, it, I don't know. The, the, that's not mountain biking whatever I saw wasn't mountain biking you know even the beginning the blue part that was not mountain biking so I don't know it was tough to me to go out mountain biking again I think it's going to take a lot because like I said I, I'm a dumbass and I didn't have breakfast <clears throat> we were thinking what should we eat what should we eat at this point it's like 12 o'clock so we'll go we went to Lone Star you guys probably will see the footage there we had this massive meal. That was my first meal of the day. And I think my, I don't know if my sugars went too high or something happened, but I just crashed. We went to Walmart to print some photos and I was, I was freezing cold, but I was sweating my nuts off. Like I was just pale. I was dizzy. I was like, man, I got to get home. I got to take a nap or something because I wasn't feeling right. And I ended up just sleeping and woke up like maybe half hour ago, an hour ago. And Jordan's like, not too long, not too long. I was like, no, I'm not waking you up. You need this rest. Yeah, I was kind of pissed because I'm like, I look forward to these days off with And Noah. he's sick. And I'm a little bit sick too, so. <clears throat> so we'll today. Find out how sick he is tomorrow. Yeah, I, oh, I got a chest x-ray done um, for this cough that's been lingering. So we'll see what, uh, what the doctor says. But So there's one little photo. We got a little uh, photo album. We decided to do uh, candid photos. That's not Noah. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know who that kid is. That kind of looks like Noah, though. <laughs> well, yeah, we got some uh, candid photos because we noticed all his like SLR photos are mostly just him, and we wanted some like what we take on our phones, you know, the selfies, the selfies kind of things. And he's like laying in bed with us, and 
That's cool pictures, and I was like, it'll be nice to have like one like candid photo album. So that's really cool. 